Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this image pop-out animation inside of After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it in your documentary edits or wherever you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and in order to create this animation, we are going to use a couple of these images. So these are just some normal images that are downloaded from the internet. Now along with these, we also need some cutouts of the same image with the transparent background. So for this purpose, you can just use whatever image you want and just go to Google and search for free background remover and you can use whatever website you want and it will remove the background from the subject. Now after that, you can import everything in After Effects and you are ready to go. So first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration. You can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we're going to create another composition for our image. Let's call this one image. Rest of things will remain same. Just click on OK. Let's create one more for the image cutout and let's call this image cutout. Just click on OK. Now, once you have this, we are ready to import our images. So first I'm going to select one of these and let's select this one and I'm going to quickly scale this up. So let's scale this to 150 and so that it covers the entire screen. Now let's go inside the image cutout and we're going to drop the same cutout for this image, which is this one. Let's increase the size so that it matches the original image. Perfect. Now let's go back to the main comp and we're going to first create a background. So right click, let's add a solid. For the colors, it's completely up to you. I'm going to make it like a little bit off white. So somewhere around here, just click on OK. Now let's drop our images. So I'm going to select the image. Let's drag it over here. Let's select the image cutout and let's drag it over here as well. Now we are going to create a null object to control everything. So for that right click, let's add a null. I'm going to select like these two layers and let's just quickly parent them to the null like that. Now, in case you are not able to see the parent option, then you can just simply right click under the columns. Make sure that this is checked. Now we can select this and let's just scale this down so that it fits our scene. Something like that. Now we are going to select the cutout image. We want it to be like a little bit bigger than this one. For that, we can select the move anchor tool and I'm going to move its anchor point to the bottom like that. Now let's select this, press S and I'm going to like scale this up so that it is like a little bit bigger, something like this. Now we can select the bottom image layer and we can apply a Gaussian blur effect so that we don't see it. So let's just increase it up quite a bit like that so that it's blurred. Now let's quickly add our text. So let's select the text tool and it's up to you. You can type whatever you want. I'm going to type Ferrat and for the font, I'm using this Montserrat black font, but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. Let's just quickly press S and I'm going to like scale this up and let's just align it to where we have our image. So somewhere around here, let's go to the align panel and let's align it to the center. If I'm not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. So before we proceed, if you want to learn some advanced VFX and CGI stuff, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, I have uploaded advanced After Effects and Blender tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. All the details are in the description. Now let's continue. Also, let's make it sync a point in the center. So for that, you can select this layer, hold on the control key or command key, then double click on this pan anchor tool. Now you can see it is in the center. Now we can play around with its size and like that. Now we can place it like in between these two images so that we have this sort of thing. Now after this, we are ready to animate everything out. But first, let's create a mask for this shape cutout. So for that, let's select the rectangle tool. And for the fill, I'm going to like set it to whatever color you want. Let's just simply click and drag so that we have this. For the stroke, I'm going to set this to zero. And let's just simply drag it so that it comes to this edge something like that so that these two layers are like nicely aligned to each other perfect now we can select this and let's just place it over here now i'm going to change this layer track mat to this one so for that you can just simply select the pick whip under the track mat option and just simply select this one like that now in case you are using the older versions of after effects then you won't have this pick whip instead you will have like alpha mat alpha inverted just place this layer above this and under the main layer just select the alpha mat and uh, now you can see if i select this and if i move it you can see it will be visible only where we have this shape not where we don't have it like that now we can probably scale this up depending upon how much we want it over here so yeah, i think this looks good to me 
perfect once you have everything we are ready to animate things out so first we are going to animate it like to come from bottom so for that we can animate its position so this is going to be a final one so let's move it like a little bit ahead somewhere around 20 frames and let's move it over here now we can move to the very beginning and we can select this image and let's move it down below so that it's completely out of this frame perfect now we can animate the scale of this as well so let's add a keyframe and let's move it like a like little bit ahead and in the beginning we want this to be like quite big something like that now we can select these keyframes let's press f9 let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph now we can select these and let's just change the graph to look something like that so we want them to basically start very quick so for that we can move this endpoint like all the way to this and let's select the position as well the scale as well and let's select this and we can move it all the way to this side so that we have this very quick movement like that now we can move this closer as well if i press play you can see we have this animation now we have to parent this as well so let's parent it to the null so that everything is moving along like that now we can move these keyframes depending upon how much movement we want so let's just place it over here now once you're done with this we are ready to animate our text so for that let's select the text layer and under the effects and preset let's just search for alternate character in so which is this one altering character in so just drag this preset onto your text and now if i press play you can see we have this very nice text coming in now we don't want to see all of these layers at once so we can select these two all of these let's move them like far away so that we have the text coming in first and then we can have them like coming in so somewhere around here let's press play i think this looks good to me perfect now we can play around with their timing as well so let's just move these like a little bit ahead perfect i think this looks good to me now once you have this we are ready to draw a line so let's select the pen tool and under the fill i'm going to set this to none now we are going to draw a very rough and random shape so for that let's just simply click and just draw a very rough shape something like that now we have to add the stroke so let's just increase it do something like that yeah, i think this looks good to me now we can select this let's search for cap under the butt cap we can set this to rounded perfect now let's go to the very beginning and we can animate it by simply adding a trim path property now let's open this up let's set the endpoint to zero let's add a keyframe let's move like a little bit ahead and let's just set this to 100 now we can select these press f9 Let's go to the graph editor and I'm going to quickly change the graph to look like this so that we have these coming in maybe a little bit less and let's add a little bit easing in the beginning as well. Perfect. Now we can play around with its timing and we can also place it down below all of these layers so that it is somewhere around here. Now if I press play, you can see we have this sort of animation. Let's just quickly tweak this and it's completely up to you. You can play around with these lines however you want. Like that. So I think this looks good to me. So here you can see we have created this animation. And the best thing about this is that you can easily change whatever you want. So if I have to change the images, all I have to do is just go inside the image folder and I can drop in whatever image I want. So let's drag in this one. Let's press S and I'm going to like scale this up. So let's set this to 193 and let's go to the image cutout and let's drag the cutout as well. Let's press S and I'm going to set the same scale 193. Let's hide the bottom one. Let's go back and here you can see we already have all of these and all we have to do is just type in our text. Here we have the text now if you want you can change the background color as well so let's search for fill let's drag it over here and i can make it like a little bit dark like this so here you can see we have changed everything 
Now if I press play, you can see all the animations are already applied. So this is how you can create this kind of people cutout animation and you can use them in your documentary edits or whatever projects you want. Also the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.